about his thoughts on Flash. Um, and that there's been a lot of discussions uh, in the aftermath of this. Uh, I'm going to focus on some of the things he said here. He says, Apple has um, adopted HTML5, uh, CSS, and JavaScript. And that's a way for him to say, you know, we really don't need Flash. Because uh, we can do everything that Flash can do in those languages. And I think he has a point. And I'm going to show you some of the things that can be done in HTML5 and CSS uh, to, to, to see what's, what's, what's possible. Video has been part of the web, um, but it has been part of the web through Flash. And you have to have Flash installed as a plugin in order to use uh, video um, in your web page. That's changing now with the, with the video element. We proposed this element at Opera in 2007, and we've been working with others to make it uh, generically available in all web browsers since then. Uh, and it looks pretty good. I think we're going to see a lot of interest in the video element in the time to come. Uh, and it, 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 it's so simple. Uh, you can add a video to your web page just by writing something like this uh, in, your, in your web page. And compared to using Flash, compared to using uh, a plugin, this is much simpler and it's much more reliable because it doesn't depend on there being a plugin available. This is a menu that's available on all the apple.com uh, uh, pages. Um, and it looks pretty good, you know? You, you see here, you, it, it's a little small, but you see you have a little bit of roundedness here, a little bit of shadow, a rounded feel. Uh, on your text, you have a little bit of 3D effects uh, under it because you have some, some white underneath. Again, it's hard to see. And then you have a gradient that goes across the whole thing. So, you know, it looks like a modern, sleek design with a little bit of, of, of shadow and 3D effects. But it's been done using an image. So in order for a browser to show this, it has to download these images. And that takes time. It takes time to create. It takes time to download. And it, 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 it costs people money if they're over a, a wireless uh, network where they pay for usage. So we can do this better. We can do this in CSS. We can do exactly the same design using no images whatsoever. This is coded up in CSS, and you know it's 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 selectable text. I can select all of this text here. Well, the, the way we see it is Flash is part of the ecosystem as it is today. So, if you want to have access to all the content as it is, then you, then you need Flash. On the other hand, we don't see any new systems like this entering the market. So new closed systems, we don't see that happening. And we do also note uh, that uh, there are web solutions that are coming to the market, like the video tag, which we introduced, uh, or the CSS, uh, the canvas, and scalable vector graphics that provide you an alternative. So I think, in a way, you will gradually see more and more use of those on the internet, maybe slightly less flash. But I definitely don't see anything else, else coming. So what I mean is that there are a lot of devices that currently have does not have the power to support running Flash in, in, in all of its forms. So um, Opera will, will, will try to push devices that actually do support, uh, make, make them all support Flash, or it's just... Actually, I mean, as you mentioned, Flash is not everywhere. We don't provide Flash. Adobe provides Flash. And so if Flash is there, we will integrate with Flash. But if there's no Flash, we will still make the best of it. Opera Mini, for example, does not have Flash support, but it is the world most used mobile browser. And the point of this is that for most people, what they really want to get is to the web. And it has to be said that uh, for most normal browsing, you don't need Flash. If you try to think about it a little bit, I mean, for most normal sites you go to, the, I mean, you will not find a lot of uh, Flash on Facebook, You'll not find a lot of flash on the newspaper site except for ads. I mean, if you look at the use of flash, it's been used on certain sites, it's been used for video, and it's been used for um, uh, ads. So those are the three use cases. I understand that in Taiwan, a lot of companies, although this is wrong, but a lot of companies build their home page using flash alone. Which means that unless you have Flash available, you're not going to go anywhere into the, the website. Well, I think for those 
side owners, I would recommend that they make their sites work also without flash. Right. <laughs> because okay. the, the reality is there's more and more devices that do not support flash. And, and uh, that are, I mean, there's four and a half billion phones out there. Some of those will get flash support in the future, but they do not have it today. So if you want to reach the, the masses, you have to have a site that works both with and without flash. Just it sounds like your stance is against Flash for the future. Is that the way? Is that the well, way? I mean, is that the way that things are headed? We have very good relations with an old. <laughs> 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 these, uh, they, these are. They, they, I mean, I think Adobe is a very creative and a great company. They, they provide great tools, great web content. Flash has been part of the history of the web, but overall, our stand as a company is for open standards. Thank you.